This is part 4 from playing with radio oscillators. Um, I was busy for uh, quite a few days to make a crystal oscillator. There is already one crystal oscillator on my channel. It's a Pierce oscillator. And the Pierce oscillator is in fact very simple. It's an amplifier that's brought to a certain frequency band by the value of this capacitor, emitter capacitor. This makes it sensitive, the value from this capacitor makes it sensitive for a certain band between let's say 2 MHz or and 10 MHz. And after that we connect the crystal between the collector and the base. Then we set the working point and the whole circuit will start to oscillate. And we can take the signal out on two locations here. Sorry, here. Via capacitor. And also here, via capacitor. On this point, on the emitter. This part is of course low impedance. This has a somewhat higher impedance, though uh, it's not extremely high. So that's one way to make an oscillator. And in this demo circuit here, I've made an oscillator um, according to the principle that I've showed in the figure. But now I uh, want to demonstrate a few things about this circuit. At first we can connect the crystal here, as I've told, between the uh, collector and the base, but of course we can also collect, uh, connect the crystal between the base and the grounds. And it also works when we connect the crystal between the base and the ground. Though there are always a lot of problems with uh, simple oscillators, um, it must start always. Um, sometimes the oscillator stops suddenly and when you apply the voltage it doesn't want to start again. One of the problems and they all must be solved. Uh, solved. Um, you see the, the circuit. Now it's a Pierce oscillator. The um, crystal is connected between the collector here and the base here. This is the oscillation. Quite good for a sine wave oscillator. Not com completely pure because this period here is differs a little bit. But okay, usable for a shortwave radio. And um, the peculiar thing that I found is that this crystal it uh, it indicates two. Uh, point zero 0.091 megahertz oscillates on two frequencies. I've connected it now between the base and the collector and I read 10.3 megahertz. Now I'm going to connect this crystal between the um, uh, base and ground. So I have to solder it a little bit. Yeah. It's connected now between base and ground. And now we see that the crystal oscillates on the frequency that's written on it. And that is 2.092 megahertz. And also the waveform is visible here. And you can see that there is a waveform is not very pure, but we can change the waveform by changing the working point with the help of the potentiometer. So here it gets quite pure, though the amplitude goes down. And this all has to do with the uh, internal uh, construction of the crystal. There are uh, crystals that are specially designed to um, uh, oscillate on their overtone, so the second or third or fourth harmonic. 
and um, I think that uh, this is more or less occasional that this crystal uh, works on its uh, harmonic also but it also depends on the, the oscillator circuit in which it's used here you see the decoupling circuit from the crystal oscillator is necessary to prevent oscillations traveling on the power rail So this is part four. I can uh, tell more about it. I did a lot of experiments and saw all kinds of uh, strange phenomenon. Uh, the oscillator didn't want to start. Um, when I tapped the potentiometer for instance it did want to start. But after that it stopped suddenly etc etc. And I tried to find a remedy. But uh, of course uh, perhaps that's something in uh, for other videos.